Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I've got a huge bunch of goodies from Shiny Goods, as always, who's um, combined a few of the orders that I've got and put them in this lovely box that I will show you in a second with all these shiny related stuff that I've recently got. Um, so yeah, let's get this box out of the way for you guys. This is very exciting. Um, this is like Christmas all over again. Um, okay. Ugh. So maybe let's, let's not start with this because this is the probably the laziest thing that's with this. Um, let's maybe start with this sweet escape stuff. Um, which are all these ones. So he did this thing called Mr. Freak's Sweet Escape. Um, to be honest, I'm still not sure <laughs> how it got about. He wasn't even promoting or well, them great anymore or anything like that, but they just released some stuff. Anyways, I ended up getting a lot of the merch. They had like a pop-up store and things like that. There's a few things that were edible that obviously I didn't get, but there was a lot of other um, little goodies that you could get for it. So maybe let's do the stickers first. So first we've got um, some stickers set, which uh, look really cute. I really don't want to open this up that way. Okay, okay, I'll do it the other way. So at least I want, I want to keep this bit rather than the bottom bit. So that's why I've just ripped it at the bottom. So you've got some cool, Sweet escape stickers again. Highly likely that I will never really use, but just the fact these are really cute. Sweet escape. And you've got Puccili in its different form and in everywhere. <laughs> so this is quite cute. Then I've got this kind of um, touch key ring. I don't even remember, it's been so long. This is a, such a cute pouch. It's actually quite firm. Oh, because there's a foam there, right? There's a foam in here, so that's why. But super cute. You can also put coins, whatnot in there, lip balm, whatever. It's very cute. We've got socks, which is very unusual for woods, um, but I got them. I probably wear them. Mm, probably not that often, but I'd wear them. So you've got one which is, I think they were different colors, but I always like to choose the black ones anyways. But there's the Box City one on both um, sock, and then this one is uh, the Bad Love Monster. <laughs> I think there's one for each era of um, key, so this the first one was obviously was the gasoline era and this one was the bad love era so you've got slightly different logos for it um, and then I've got some other pins here that are with the other collab stuff so let me just get them left And as usual, once again, I've dropped the photo card. Ah, sorry. So, as usual, love getting my pens. So, this is like the killer version. Gasoline. And then one, this one is the good and great one. So, really cute. Each has got different vibe, but still cute. And Got more oh yeah, then I got this. I think I got all of the badges for all of the different eras. I'll, I'll leave this once for a second. I'm not sure. Yeah, okay, this card is comes from the sweet escape thing. This is cute. And so that stuff.
So these are for the Sweet Escape key collab thing. Then we might we might do these ones since these probably most recent ones. These are the official fan light capes. I got both for Tanami and Jungle King, which are Onyo and Minoy's mascots. So these uh, again I do want to rip this bloody sticker off okay I don't have a choice I do not have a choice I think for this this is thicker than I thought it would be I thought it would be thinner to be honest but this is like proper cushiony I thought it would just be a thin layer um, but yeah I think a few of the different places actually had them ordered um, like K-pop friends and K-pop time in Australia actually had those available for ordering so I'm actually surprised um, this comes with a velcro I actually brought my light stick so I can show you what it feels like I did see a lot of people um, putting this on their light stick during their recent concert <laughs> I don't know if you can see. This is how it looks. <laughs> but it's kind of bulgy. And then you still can see the light. I mean, obviously not at the back here, but it still was bright enough during the concert. Um, but yeah, I'm very impressed with the amount of stuffing they've put in to the cape because like I said, it's just a cape so I really didn't think they would put that much into it very surprising alright, um, and then I'll just put it back in this same thing I wanted, I was hoping that we would get that when we went to the perfect illumination in Hong Kong but um, ended up never happening because this was like I think in, in April that it was released so never had the chance to actually even get it and then this is the all new mascot version which is a white one um, which is so cute with the little bunny it's a bit weird like obviously its mouth is so close to its eye it just looks a bit funny but still really cute um, again same thing there isn't a proper way to put it really I think obviously where the velcro is is where you'd um, put it at the bottom of it somewhere along those lines here so yeah, very, very cute. Um, it's, it feels like they're kind of protecting Shiny World from everything. Covering them from things. Oh yeah, I ended up crying for that last day of the concert because everything was emotional. The only thing I would complain about is the fact that obviously people that were online and paying for the Beyond Live only saw the one encore but not the end encore which was a bit sad but oh well what can we do um, I think people were already super angry for day two and then they were like you better not do this on day three and sadly they did so yeah right and then the last bits were um, Fanlight midi roll keyring. So I got one for Temari, or I think this is um, Kung, and then this one is Bokshili. Um, but it's actually um, Komde. So yeah, so we've got both versions. So we've got Kung and Tengi, and then Komde and Garson, I think, for those. And um, you know, that little chest knot thingy and the funny emoji for Onyo's one basically so 
that's why I ended up just choosing those for each member rather than all of them. Because you know, I only bought one white stick anyway, so it's not like I can fit all of them in there together. But yeah, really fluffy. And then I think this you're supposed to hang it at the bottom of your light stick here through this. Um, so it just kind of <laughs> hangs like that. Um, and then for common day, same design but just it's common day version, which is cute. Um, does it say its name here? It just says Boxy. Technically, it's not boxy, it's comedy. Anyways, so yeah, <laughs> I like that even the pets are included in in their official merch. Um, yeah. So yeah, this was really cute. Uh, hopefully, we'll get to use them one day. I'm too scared that I might shake too hard my light stick and Away, but they're pretty, they're pretty tight and sticky too. The stuff, especially the velcro bits. But anyways, last but not least, these are kind of also related to the Japanese perfect illumination and core. And these were collaboration between Shiny and Jokuman. I'm not sure if it's an actual. Japanese brand, this Jogoman thing. I mean, I've seen this weird, funny dinosaur thing. Um, but yeah, I ended up getting basically earrings for each member, which they are just floating on their chemistry intro float spaceship thingy. And you've got the dinosaur holding the light stick. So for those who don't know, this represents Key Fox, this represents Minho, and this is obviously Tang. Um, so I've got three earrings. Then I ended up getting these really fancy um, pouches. Um, what do you call these? I forgot the name of these pouches, but I'll just open them and show you guys. Just that material, I forgot. Corduroy um, material, but yeah, it's really cute. You've got like both characters poking in, you've got obviously the main character in the center, and then it's just a nice little pouch to put whatever you want to put in there. So I got one for each member again, with lovely colors as well for all three of them. And then also ended up getting the tote bag, perfect illumination, um, then this is the back of it, again, so many tote bags but you never get enough, and then this is the cute sweater. I think this is just like a one size anyways thingy but yeah I just thought it was really cute and again can never have enough hoodies I don't know if um, there is other things on the sleeves let me have a look actually I really like the shiny world hoodie that I had previously so I was happy to have another one. Um, no, that's it. I don't think I see anything other than the actual perfect illumination, which is actually on the hoodie. Um, and then, then the little logo of the three shiny members holding the mic with the dinosaur. <laughs> and then the dinosaur kind of reminds me a bit of Zhonghyun as well. 
so yeah anyways uh, that was it for this video of all these new merch that i recently got for shiny um yeah i hope you like this video make sure you check out my other unboxing of other shiny merch that i've recently got even including the shiny concert dvds and blu-ray and yeah we'll see you guys next time for another video bye guys